In this brief video, we will demonstrate in situ real time thickness monitoring during atomic layer etching, or ALE, using a FilmSense FS1 multi wavelength ellipsometer. This experiment was performed in collaboration with Dr. Sumit Agarwal and his student Ryan Gosvoda at the Colorado School of Mines. The FS1 multi wavelength ellipsometer was mounted on the mine's custom ALE chamber. The compact design of the FS1 allows it to be installed on most vacuum chambers that have ellipsometer viewports. Inside the chamber, two samples are used for monitoring the process in situ. An FTIR beam is reflected from a zinc selenide prism in the ATR mode to provide information about the chemical bonding on the surface. The FS1 ellipsometer beam is reflected from a silicon wafer chip which is adjacent to the prism. The FS1 provides film thickness during ALD or ALE processes with sub-nanometer precision. In this video, the computer screen in the foreground shows the FS1 software alongside the deposition control software with the ALE chamber in the background. For clarity, the screen will now be split. The silicon wafer starts with a 15 nanometer silicon dioxide film. To establish a baseline thickness, FS1 data points are acquired before the process starts. Note that the thickness precision is better than 0.01 nanometers. The first half of the ALE process is to deposit a fluorocarbon polymer film using a C4F8 with argon gas mixture and a short plasma exposure. Ellipsometer data points are acquired during the purge steps when the isolation valves in front of the windows are opened. After the polymer deposition step, the FS1 data indicates a 0.25 nanometer increase in the effective silicon dioxide thickness. The second half of the ALE process is a longer argon plasma exposure, which removes the polymer film along with some of the underlying silicon dioxide film. We will fast forward through the 40 second argon plasma exposure. The argon plasma exposure half cycle results in a 0.6 nanometer decrease in the effective silicon dioxide film thickness. To save time, time lapse frames will be shown after each process half cycle. Determining the deposition and etch thicknesses for each cycle is only possible with in situ measurements and the FilmSense FS1 multi-wavelength ellipsometer is ideally suited for this application. Thanks for watching. If you would like more information about FilmSense multi-wavelength ellipsometers, please visit our website at www.film-sense.com or email us at sales at film-sense.com.